My name's Alice and I'm eight. My name's Andy and I'm 55. Six. <laughs> what is your favourite part of the show that's been creating? My favourite part of the show? Um, look, I love the whole thing. I love all the silliness. I love Andy and Terry, particularly when they're fighting. And um, of course, my favourite bit of all is Andy Land, where everyone is called Andy and um, we all have a great time. What about in the in this one that they don't listen to you? Yeah, yes, that's true. My Andes don't listen to me. And, and I was particularly upset to find that they actually like Terry better than me. What inspired you to have a movie in your book? Well, a lot of our readers were asking us, are you ever going to make a movie in the treehouse? And I was a little bit, I, I mean, I love books and I love the fact that books allow you to imagine what's going on. Um, and film is like, it's all very um, nailed down. And so I don't really want a film made, but I thought if they did make a film, everything would go wrong. And um, so I thought this will be a really fun, fun idea where Terry becomes the star and, and poor old Andy gets sidelined and then kicked out of the treehouse. In the puddle. Into a puddle and then he fights the puddle. Why do the levels count up by 13 when some people think the number is unlucky? Well, the 13 levels started by accident when Terry drew a treehouse with 13 levels. When I, I, I just asked for two, bowling alley and sharks and, and some other cool stuff. And he drew 13 levels. And then I thought, that's such a nice looking treehouse. We'll call it the 13 story treehouse. But I've discovered in my research that 13, a uh, hundred years ago, didn't used to be unlucky. In fact, people used to think it was a lucky number and they would design windows with 13 panels and um, all sorts of things. So 13 comes in and out of being lucky and unlucky, but it's definitely been lucky for us. Where did you get the idea for Spy Cows? Uh, well, I've worked with Terry for a long time and I know he really loves drawing cows. And we actually did a whole book about cows called The Big Fat Cow that went kapow. And so when we needed some, someone to be spying on them, um, I, Terry, I think, just drew a cow in a trench coat. And I thought, that is so funny. We'll call them spy cows. And, um, and then, then they become spy cows. They become real. How did you get all of the penguins, like, where did the penguins come from and how did they get into the tree? Well, we, in the 26 storey treehouse, we put an ice skating pond in and Terry decorated it with these penguins. And, and then, then they became like a big part of the... Throughout the book, he just kept drawing more penguins. <laughs> and, uh, and we know, Jill and I, Jill is, is um, the character in the book and also my wife and the editor, um, we know that if Terry just likes doing something, we just let him do it. And, um, and lots of people have loved those penguins, even though they make not too much sense in the book. Most of them just have like fish. They're always thinking That's about fish. That's what I think's That's funny, right. like one of them in every page is fish. Yes, do you think we should have an evil penguin come in at one point? Because everyone thinks penguins are cute, so we should have Maybe the Dogs penguins. Are cute. Dogs. Dogs are cute. They'd be like a cute army. Yeah, yeah. We had, we had a dog. We had Barky the barking dog, but that wasn't cute. That was just boring. <laughs> it just barked and barked and barked for an entire chapter. What do the spy cows look like in the um, movie, like the show? They look pretty much like they do in the book and they've got walkie-talkies and they're creeping around the stage thinking that nobody's seeing them. But they're pretty dumb because everyone can see them. Are they people dressed up as cows or...? No, they're actual cows. We've, we've got an um, animal trainer who has trained three cows to be spies. <laughs> and it's been quite a problem because now the cows are spying on us and, and all the actors. 
even when the play's not going on. <laughs> so they've like learnt to do it even when they're not supposed to. Yeah, yeah, and when, and when they're not in the play, they go back out into the field, but they're still spying on people. They're spying on the farmers, they're spying on people who are driving past. So you should be very careful never to say anything that's secret in front of a cow. What do you think about the play? What do I think about the play? I love the play because it's a way that I can get to experience the story that is not completely something that I've done. So it's very surprising to me to see, to see myself portrayed as, as an actor up there and Terry and all the cows and it makes me laugh a lot. Thank you for um, being here today. Thank you for a great interview and please come and visit our treehouse anytime and I'll let you play with the penguins. Would you like that? You can try to collect them all up and get them back into the ice skating pond. That would be great. <laughs>